Hi guys, it's Hanny from Eclipse All Sports. I'm just wanting to bring you another quick unboxing review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, the SG Cricket Equipment. So we've got a new order in from SG, so we'll just go through what we've got in uh, today. Um, so we've got some highlight batting gloves. So we've got a couple of right-handed pairs of those. A few people have been asking about these, so we've ordered a few pairs in. Um, so we've got some of the lower end bats in from SG. So we've got this lovely Reliant Extreme, nice full shape, nice big edges, mid to low middle, not much wood or if any taken out. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 grains evenly spaced, little mark there and a little wobble there, but it's a nice looking bat. Uh, this one's got the Raoul Dravid signature on there and it is the SG Reliant Extreme. And these are going to be less around about the 120, 130 mark. Um, so they're going to be a really good value for money options in the lower grades from SG. Um, so we'll uh, take a closer look at these when we do the individual video reviews. Um, we've got this lovely SG Sierra 250. Um, this one's weighing around about £2.8 ounce. Um, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 grains on this one. A little bit of heartwood there, uh, but no real blemishes. A tiny little mark just there, uh, but again, a lovely bat. Um, full shape, mid to low middle, um, another excellent bat. And these are going to be on for $149.99. Uh, very popular and sold very quickly. Uh, next up, we've got the Nexus Extreme. Um, this one's got a little bit of a butterfly stain, but you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 grains. Uh, fairly straight, pretty evenly spaced, um, no blemishes, just that tiny little butterfly mark there. Big edges, full shape. Um, yeah, another lovely bat. And again, like I say, it's going to be less than £130. And you're getting 11 grains and a really nice looking piece of willow. Um, so definitely worth keeping your eyes open for those. Next up we've got the VS319 Extreme. And this is the Verinda Sewag edition. Uh, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 grains on this one. A little bit of heartwood. Probably about 30-40% heartwood actually, a few little uh, marbling in the heartwood. Again, lovely shape, big size edges. A little bit of wood taken out on this one, but it's another big cricket bat. And again, we've got another VS319 Extreme. This one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grains. Uh, fairly evenly spaced, um, good size again, bit of wood taken out. Um, these have got like a semi oval handle shape as well. Um, we've got quite a few of these in the 2829, um, so nice lightweights as well. Uh, we've got a Cobra Extreme, uh, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 grains. There's quite a few blemishes on this one, but it still looks like a good piece of willow. Uh, good shape as well. A little bit of wood taken out. This one's got a fluorescent yellow uh, chevron grip. Medium to thin thickness. Slightly semi-oval at the bottom. Tips to a round. Got another Sierra 250. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 grains, no blemishes, a little bit of hardwood, um, and again, a nice shape. I think this one's actually weighing around 2 a um, little bit of wood taken out, but yeah, lovely bat. Another Sierra 250, this one's a big one. I think you're looking around about 41mm edges on this one. 
uh, pretty full shape. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven grains. Again, clean looking, no blemishes, no heartwood. Um, yeah, semi oval, tapers to every round. Um, feels nice as well, so that's another one to keep an eye out for. Uh, Sierra 350, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 grains on this one. Decent sized edges, decent sized spine, a little bit of wood taken out. Yeah, nice looking back, nice feel as well. VS319 Extreme, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six grains on this one. Uh, decent shape again, pretty full. This one's got a proper oval handle, tapers to a round at the top. Uh, so, majority of SG bats uh, tend to come with round handles, but a lot of them now are coming with these oval shaped handles, and yeah, they do feel really nice. This one's a good thickness as well. Uh, we've got this lovely uh, Sunny Tunny. Uh, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten grains on this one. Nice shape, mid middle position, spine rounded off into the toe, up into the handle. A uh, little bit of concaving, uh, but this one's going to be weighing around about two pound eight. Um, so yeah, it's a nice bat, nice lightweight as well. Next up, we've got this Sunny Tunny Legend Players Cricket Bat. So it's got the players stamped in on the edge and it's got the players sticker there as well. Um, so this is graded higher than the normal Legend. It's considered to be um, their like top pro grade Willow. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven grains. So it's a nice looking bat. A little bit of hardwood on the right hander's outside edge. Good size edges, nice full shape, uh, semi-oval uh, tapers to a round, hardly any wood taken out, um, nice big bat, it's weighing around 28.9, um, yeah it's a lovely bat, and this one will be going up on the website for 374.99, so a little bit ex more expensive than a normal Sunny Legend, and uh, this one's got the Sunil Gavaska uh, signature there as well. Uh, there's no embossing on these sti uh, stickers either. So on the normal Sunny Legends, you get embossing on the stickers. Uh, this one you don't. Um, so yeah, that's something to think about. So yeah, it's a lovely looking bat. Um, and yet, the only difference I can see from the normal Legend is you've just got that player's uh, stamp in there on the edge. And then the player's stickers there. Otherwise, there's not a great deal of difference between uh, the normal Legend and this one. This one they've put a white half moon scale type grip on rather than the double textured um, SG branded grip. To be honest I prefer the SG branded grip. So yeah those are the only differences that I can see but we'll do an, an in-depth individual review of the bat and see how it performs and see if there's a difference in terms of performance uh, to the normal legend bats. But looks wise and everything else it, it doesn't seem too much different to a normal legend. Uh, but they have got the players on there and it's a little bit more expensive. Um, so if you want something a little bit more exclusive then uh, there's the SG Legend Players Cricket Bat. And finishing off, uh, we've got a lovely SG Player Edition Cricket Bat. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine grains on this one. Evenly straight, evenly spaced, uh, pretty full shape, decent size edges. Uh, again, probably slightly semi oval at the bottom tips to a round. Again, you've got this half moon scale type grip. Not a massive fan of those grips, to be honest with you, um, but it's a lovely looking bat. And these stickers are all textured and embossed. And yeah, this is probably my favourite colour scheme from SG. Um, and you get a nice padded back cover with the players edition bats as well um, so yeah this is another one that's going to be going up on the website so if you're interested uh, drop us an email this one's around about two pound ten um, so we've got another three players editions in stock um, around about the two nine we've got one at two seven 
and this one's going to be around 210. And so yeah, that's it for the SG order. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I look forward to bringing you all the individual video reviews. So thanks again. Until next time, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye.